Here we go. This is the last chapter. Veins. Veins. Necro. Needle. Blood. Uh oh. God damn, what did they do to you? Now you're as messed up as they are. Jesus, Mikhail, chill out. Seriously, it's fine. I just. I have these attacks once in a while. It's just a necro, no big deal. You were rambling on. A, you were rambling on about creatures or something, sitting there staring into space. That's it, you've gone crazy. You're not in control of yourself. I can't let you go on like this, though. You can't begin to imagine what they'll do to us if they catch us alive. I couldn't take it. Oh, quit blabbering, Mikhail. Look at me. I'm fine. Everything's fine. We'll get out of this. Just trust me. Shit, Mikhail. I, I'm sorry. Alright, let's do this. Chapter 8, End of an Era. Yeah, these douchebags will always keep blocking. I just keep throwing them. Where did he drop his gun? I'm doing a fatality on that guy. The less of them, the better. Because if you have too many of these guys on the screen, they'll get quickly out of control. Alright, there we go. Going through here. Yeah, so you block a blade. Yeah, these guys you need to take care of as quickly as possible. Because these enemies are pretty tough. Because, like, you keep witnessing time and time again, they'll just keep blocking. Alright. Got these security guards here. Uh-oh. 
Hey, it's you. You're one of us. Word of advice for you. Don't let it control you. Just run away before you end up like me. Yeah, this part gets really creepy. Basically, you just have to run like he says. Just wail away at the walls. Eventually, this will happen. You'll start summoning your clones. Just basically do your combo and just kick them away. There you go. go never stop moving as soon as you stay still you are a target there we go hey thanks for the bat Come on. Yeah, how do you like that, huh? Oh, no, no, no. Nope. There we go. Berserk! Oh, this part can get really sucky really fast. So basically, there's this helicopter here. It is basically kind of cool because he helps you out as well. Got nailed there. That's not good. Ooh. That was loud. That was me holding in my sneeze, by the way. It results in very strange things. So close, dude. I didn't even, I don't think I even talked around that time. Of course, these assholes.
come on. Ah, he didn't give me Necro. I'm just gonna keep punching him in the face. I don't feel safe taking him on, like, regularly. Okay, there we go. What's all this about? I feel like things are about to get even more interesting. <laughs> Damn, okay. So you're the gypsy troublemaker, eh? Our whores just took advantage of your little operation and ran off. Plan on reimbursing us, or would you rather take their place? I'm wondering something myself. When's your last time you saw your own dick? when they do that they do that punch that gut punch move and then freaking leaves you stunned there we go And, uh, yeah, this is the part I'm censoring. <laughs> uh, how to describe this? Uh, basically, he was just rearranging her guts. Anyways, haha, <laughs> you know you're my favorite, right? Oh, you can't be serious. Guards! Guards! That's the part I'm probably gonna have to censor. For sure. Stop picking up the. Oh, you can't be serious. All this all over again. Yeah, yeah. gonna berserk are you kidding me god
I always do like a f like a running slash because if you just slash regularly you just decapitate them which means you won't be able to get necro from them are you fucking kidding me dude let me get some necro Now this boss fight's kind of easily... Ah, finally. Trap the little rabbit in this cage. Alright, take it easy. I'm sure we can find common ground. We're beyond bargaining, pal. I want answers. Can you be a bit more specific? Everything. The objections, the lab experiments, necro. I want you to break this shit down for me. I don't have the time to give a lesson in polit political economics right now. Oh, but I've got all the time in the world. It's up to you. We can discuss this calmly or with screams of pain. Okay, okay, look. Breath as much as a thorn in my side as it is in yours. They've got us by the short and curl, please. As we talk part in certain illicit dealings under duress, we don't negotiate with these people. And what would you know anyway, coming from a simple gyp, excuse me, Roma camp? I tell you, I was forced to fund the labs of production, the volunteer recruitment efforts. I was led to believe that Necro was simply a synthetical, synthetic chemical. Cheat to produce and potentially highly profitable. I don't know anything more than that, honest. I'm a, pl I'm a politician, not a monster. You've got the wrong person. No, I think I've just right the person. Just have the right person. A friend of mine made me realize who's actually to blame for all this. Once you follow the Bravo, we'll lose their cover and the whole house of cards will fall apart. And then what, huh? You go back to your cruddy gypsy camp and starve to death? Think about this, kid. You're fighting an uphill battle. That took you long enough. Get rid of this scum. Ooh, damn it. I was about to say, this boss fight, I totally forgot about that. So, he'll hide under his desk and you'll just send people after you. This is basically just like an endurance type of thing. Basically, all you're supposed to do is just kick him off the ladder. And that's it. Throw down the bloody ladder again. And you'll just keep making attempt after attempt. Nope. Fuck. Ooh. Oh, no, you don't. Shit. No, 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 no. No, you don't. Oof. That's that boss fight done. Now here's the final battle coming up. You goddamn screw-ups. Restart the operation. Hello? Hello? I said restart the operation. You hear me? Now, who'll come after me? Hello? Okay, whoever kills this bastard gets a bonus. Alright, take it easy. I'm sure we can find common ground. Now, here's where I need to explain some things. Same fucking scene over and over again. With that smell and that fucking thing. Necro. Holy shit, it's talking. What the hell is this? Need necro more and more. 
<sighs> Screw you and your damn necro. I don't want that crap anymore. Uh, I need to wake up. Gotta stop hallucinating. Useless. Worthless. Shit. You miserable, weak, scared, necro, strength, life, power. Oh, my head feels like it's gonna explode. Needle, necro, vein, blood, heart. No, 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 no. God damn it. Shit's gonna kill me, but I can't give in. You won't win. I'll get you out of my head, you shitbag. Pleasure, resist, pathetic. Now, I was confused to do at first, but what you're supposed to do is get these syringes and just throw them at the wall. Ah, oh, shit. You're probably wondering why I'm not using Necro. Well, you get a different ending depending on how you take down this boss. So I'm going to take a few attempts at this. But basically, in order to get the good ending, you have to beat the boss without taking any necro. I see how to do it. Just throw them in. Basically, you just have to throw the syringes at these walls like I just stated and take the easy way just throw them into the wall and just keep throwing the syringes into them but careful you can actually get hit too now if the animation is moving faster then that means it's almost dead There we go. It's like a nightmare. I can't seem to snap out of it. God, I don't want to die here. Not now. Fear, hate, revenge, madness, pleasure, orgasm, needles. Fear, hate, revenge, madness, pleasure, orgasm, needles. So basically, you fight these hands that come down. When there's a flower that comes up from the ground, then that means that a fist is going to go down in that location. And you got these things to worry about. Luckily, they're like the rats, so they latch onto you and do continuous damage. But luckily, you can trick them into latching onto the fists here. That does continuous damage overall. Come on. And here's when it gets tricky. Die. You die. I won't let you control me anymore. I'm back in the driver's seat now. Go on, Necro. Show me what you're made of. Necro, you dead. Over history. So basically, here you go. You'll do this move where he uh, pushes you towards the bottom of the screen. Then he'll do all these moves. But this is the move that he does where you can actually be able to hit him. And just wail at him. Oh, I forgot he does that move. Oh shit. Okay, I remember to do that now. When he's crouching on the ground and then he disappears, that means he's going to do a ground pound move. Ah, damn it. 
He's doing this move again. Alright, he's in his final form. This really sucks because, as you can see, he splits in two. As you can see, as you're doing damage to him, the music speeds up more and more. Oof. I almost got him. Alright, he's doing his thing again. Alright, come on, 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 come on. There we go. And that's him done and done. And geez, look what happened here. Ugh. Look who it is. I can't believe you're alive. Basically, what would happen if we took Necro during that fight? Basically, we get an ending where the characters die from the overdose on the Necro. Yeah, mostly. The fighting's over. The security forces lay down their arms and sided with the people. We actually won. Flat Eye. It's gonna take me a while to wrap my hand around all this. I feel like I'm coming down from the worst trip ever. The Necro's still in your system, but you're looking healthy already. Anyway. We can talk later. Let me get you to the hospital. You're going to be out of commission for at least a few days. Hell yeah, dude. And we got an ending cutscene here. So, there we go. Finally, our hero has arrived. Wow, haha. So that thing about a statue wasn't BS. It's amazing. You like? The artist took pains to recreate your big ugly mug. A memorial for the mass murder I committed. You don't think that goes against your principles? People should remember who the real hero of the revolution is. Once we rebuild everything, it'll be an you'll be an icon in the new world. You know, I only did it out of revenge, though. No one else needs to know that, or what methods you used. Listen, you have no idea how many champions of history bloodied their hands. At least you represent the downtrodden. You're the face of those who've had enough, the people's fists rising up. Don't fight your destiny. Yeah, besides, what choice did I have? I'm pretty useless at everything else. Alright, I'm with you, Vlad. I'll be part of your glorious history. Excellent. Necro's been wiped from the streets. Those responsible have been brought to justice. Now that the bloodshed's over, we can come together and breathe life into the motherland. Hell yeah, dude. And that is basically Mother Russia Bleeds. This game I actually liked when it came out. But, unfortunately, it was met with mixed reviews, which is unfortunate. I think it deserves more love. And uh, that will be it. I recommend you give this game a go. Especially, it doesn't really cost that much. I think I got it for like either 15 or 20 dollars but I also got it when it was on sale so that could be that but still if you have buddies that you uh, live with and you want to play this game with them definitely check it out and uh, yeah this is the whole story done if you like what you saw please like comment and subscribe see you in the next one I'm out